Welcome to Dasu Hanglish. Let's learn English together. What nots and what have yous. It means a combination to refer to miscellaneous items or things. Example. The garage is cluttered with tools, old furniture, and whatnots and what have yous. About to do something. It means on the verge of doing something. Example. I was about to leave when you called. About the bush. It means avoiding the main topic, speaking indirectly. Example. Stop beating about the bush and tell me what happened. Hard to come by. It means rare or difficult to find. Example. Genuine antique furniture is hard to come by in this market. Sell someone a bill of goods. It means to deceive or mislead someone. Example. Don't believe everything he says. He tends to sell people a bill of goods. Short fuse. It means a quick temper, easily angered. Example. Be careful what you say, he has a short fuse and may react strongly. Having a go at. It means attempting or trying something. Example. I'm thinking of having a go at learning a new musical instrument. Stick it out. It means to endure a difficult situation until it improves. Example. It's tough right now, but I'm determined to stick it out until things get better. Stick in the mud. It means a person who is resistant to change or fun. Example. Don't be a stick in the mud. Join us for the celebration. Own up to. It means to admit or confess to a mistake or wrongdoing. Example. It's essential to own up to your errors and learn from them. Stand your ground. It means to maintain one's position or opinion firmly. Example. Even under pressure, she stood her ground during the negotiation. Take a stand. It means to express one's opinion or make a clear decision on an issue. Example. It's time to take a stand and advocate for positive change. Out and about. It means actively engaged in activities outside one's home. Example. On weekends, I like to be out and about, exploring new places.
out with it. It means a phrase urging someone to speak or reveal something. Example. If you have something to say, just out with it, we're here to listen. Came of age. It means reached the age of maturity or adulthood. Example. Turning 18, she officially came of age and gained certain legal rights. Home run. It means a significant success or achievement. Example. The new product launch was a home run for the company, exceeding sales expectations. Who's to say? An expression indicating uncertainty or a lack of definitive answers. Example. Who's to say what the future holds? Anything is possible. Always on the go. It means constantly busy or active. Example. With her job and social commitments, she's always on the go. Step on it. It means to hurry or move quickly. Example. We need to finish the project by tomorrow, so let's step on it. Right off the bat. It means immediately or right from the start. Example. I knew right off the bat that we would get along well. Right up your alley. It means well suited or perfectly matched to one's interests or skills. Example. If you enjoy problem solving, this puzzle game is right up your alley. Back to square one. It means returning to the starting point or beginning. Example. After the failed experiment, we had to go back to square one and reevaluate our approach. Backlog. It means the accumulation of tasks or work that needs to be completed. Example. After the vacation, she faced a backlog of emails and assignments. Far and few between. It means infrequent, not happening very often. Example. Opportunities like this are far and few between, so seize them when they come. Away from the desk. It means not at one's work or office space. Example. I'll be away from the desk for a meeting. Leave a message, and I'll get back to you. May it be so. It means a hopeful expression often used in well-wishing or prayers. Example. May it be so that your journey is filled with success and happiness.
Turn a deaf ear. It means to deliberately ignore or not listen to someone. Example. Despite repeated warnings, he chose to turn a deaf ear to the advice. Thank you for watching this video. If it is useful for improving your English skills, please subscribe. See you in the next video.